Hi, Tony Poulos here at Mobile World Congress 2023 in Barcelona. Today I have with me Viplov Singal, who is the Director of Business Development for the Open RAN Center of Excellence at NEC Europe. Vip, welcome. But firstly, tell us what NEC is promoting here at Mobile World Congress. So uh, at MWC, from an Open RAN point of view, we have been very active in Open RAN for a long, long time, a couple of years now. Um, so we've got our own products, we've been working with our partners, etc. So one thing that we are reiterating is what is it that uh, you know we are bringing to the table, what the latest innovations are in terms of um, the software stack, the radio units, all the other stuff that NEC is doing in terms of its acquisition. So we're talking about that. Um, we have uh, certain demos and applications that we're also showing over here. One being about energy optimization, which is an application which Aspire Technologies brings to the table. We're showing our Converge Core demo here as well. Um, and then we are talking about our transport solutions and the different XOL options that the company is bringing um, in terms of the whole open uh, movement. Your tagline is truly open, truly trusted. But what do you mean by that? So what we mean by that is it's all about leveling up. So what we are trying to say is that, you know, uh, be it our own partners or customers or employees, I think what we're saying is that the open movement is here to stay. Um, and um, what we have to try and do basically is to make sure that, uh, you know, from, from that openness point of view, the technology solutions that we bring to the table are beneficial to not just the customers that we directly work with, but to society as a whole. So the technology solutions are there to solve people's problems in a trusted way that people can trust because there's so many issues with everything going online and stuff like that. So that's really the ethos of what we're trying to say. Technology solutions are there, but it's to solve bigger issues that, that reside within the society. And we're working together with a whole bunch of people in a trusted, open way. And what are the real benefits of Open RAN? So the benefits of Open RAN primarily, they drive innovation and competition, right? Um, the whole uh, open networks movement means, if you look at Open RAN, what we're doing is we're disaggregating the RAN. And by disaggregating the RAN, we are breaking the baseband unit up into uh, software and hardware, which runs on a cloud infrastructure. You know, this, this whole movement is about uh, giving that flexibility, the option and the benefits of what is out there already and doing some innovation on top of that. How does NEC deliver these benefits? So NEC is delivering these benefits in a number of different ways. Um, firstly, uh, let me just talk about the, the radios and the software side of things. What we're trying to do is, um, just as an example, there are a number of different bands that are required for the radios, right? So there are certain radios that NEC will develop themselves, which are the high-end radios, the massive MIMO radios. We've also decided to invest. Um, so in the first couple of years, we were not selling our own, uh, uh, developing our own CUDU software. But we've had a slight change of uh, strategy. We're going to develop our own portfolio of software. Um, we're, you, we've already got, um, from a, a software management point of view, from a RAN domain orchestration point of view, we work with Netcracker. They're also working on the RAN intelligent controller. So we're expanding our portfolio, but at the same time, we're not giving up on the, the open uh, mantra for the simple case that I showed to you about the radio units. And lastly, how does NEC reduce complexity? It's such an issue for our industry. It is. And, and the complexity from, you know, really is all about what people say about system integration is one example that I'll take. So right now, if you can imagine that you have so many different subcomponents that you're trying to bring together from different vendors, right? And what NEC has been doing is investing in that system integration capability. Um, in the market, what I see is three types of solutions for open, uh, system integration requests for open run from different operators. One is you have a pre-integrated stack, which is the kind of symphony model, right? On the very extreme end, operators are saying, I want one throat to choke approach, where a single party takes all responsibility for everything that is disaggregated, and I'll hold you responsible for the performance of that solution. And somewhere in the middle, there is an emergence of, you know, 
uh, some operators saying, and it's backed by Vodafone and NTT Docomo, the likes of those, that we have to invest in rapid interoperability testing, simplify that so that, you know, um, as new radios come along, as new software capabilities come along, that ability to switch software in and out, et cetera, is more simplified. And that's the, the focus that we are putting in to reduce complexity. Viplov, thank you for being with me today. Thank you very much.